all right guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to show you how i make my very own specter flame paint um, before we start i got this idea from a spanish speaking channel classic custom i'll leave a link to the his video uh up here somewhere <clears throat> so in his video he uses uh the clear from a uh to do nails uh, i'm not gonna cheap out like that so i wanted to do something that it was uh resistance and it could really hold up its own and it could really match up to spectre flame paint so so you can see here I have these bottles. Look at this. I'll have a link to uh, these bottles in the video description if you want to get them. <clears throat> and uh, these are two ounces. You could get them one ounce bottles too. I don't know. I just I like the two ounce bottles. When I buy the Spectre Flame paint, if I have two. Of the same I'll pour it into one of these bottles and, and it's a lot easier to transfer the paint to uh, to the airbrush as you can see they're glass and the inner tube is also glass it works perfect it's airtight so the paint is not gonna dry so if you were wondering how I do this I'm gonna show you right now all right, so first, what is Spectre Flame Paint? The one that you buy from uh, the Red Line shop. Spectre Flame Paint is urethane paint, which is basically clear urethane with a tint. Now, the biggest difference here is that uh, they've done many, many tests to get uh, the color to match to the original cars. Uh, we're not worried about that. We're going to create our very own colors. But is as resistant as the ones that they sell. Now, if you don't know about urethane paint, this the kind of paint they use to paint cars. They also sell a little bottle with a, it's called Harder. Harder. So... This is because the urethane paint by itself, it's not strong enough. I believe this is actually what they called in the automotive world activator. Uh, when you buy urethane paint to paint your car, you gotta also buy activator. And I believe this is what uh, this is. Now keep that in mind. Now, that's basically what we're doing here. We are tinting urethane paint and what is my source for urethane paint rustoleum triple thick glaze i have a video where i talk about different urethane paints you probably saw this this one over here that's my source you could also use uh automotive bought urethane but again, you gotta buy the activator, and you know it just it gets to be more expensive. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to have quality, but I'm trying to be economic at the same time. So this is my source. If you search for uh, urethane rustoleum paint, this is what's gonna show up. Now I have to decan this. I mean, I have to take the paint out to be able to work with it i buy these little cups they're plastic and using my exacto i make a little hole now for rustoleum paints <clears throat> remember i'm going to leave links to everything i use in this video to for rustoleum paints they sell this adapter a spray cap here with the little tube that way the canning paint becomes a lot a lot easier they only work with rust-oleum cans 
So that's why this, you know, it perfect. So I put it through the little hole. Now these little cups hold two ounces. I try to do about an ounce, about halfway. You see how nice and clean this is? If you didn't have that little tube to spray the paint, you would have a big, big mess. Since I'm running out. <clears throat> now, when you are the canning paint, very important. The the paint is uh, pressurized, and that uh, the pressurized uh, is still in the paint. That's how you see all these bubbles. Do not, <clears throat> do not, once you do this, I'm good right here because this thing has a hole. But do not cover it. Because it'll, it'll bulge up. All, all these gases are still inside the paint. It's going to take a while. At least four to five, uh, maybe up to six hours where it's not it, it you know you gotta let it you gotta let it sit what i do is i either use this sit, same one and i leave it on like this or I, I get a brand new one and i leave it so nothing falls inside but it has a little space to breathe out because it'll budge up let me show you all right I got a brand new cap here Look at the metal. You see how it's swelling up? Hear that? So that's why you can't cover it up. You gotta let it breathe. All right. <clears throat> so what is my tint source? Voila. Ink pens. Look, this one right here is this one. This one right here is this one. And black, the black ink is this one right here. You can see this. This is like a very dark purple, not really black. <clears throat> not impressed yet? Tell me that doesn't look like Spectre Flame Aqua. Tell me that doesn't look like Spectre Flame Lime Apple. Look at this. Spectre Flame, very dark purple. So how do you get the ink off? So you go buy this little pack. Right. Open it. I'm gonna do pink. I wanna see how it looks. Got my uh my star pliers here. They've been in a few of my videos. Now you need to remove this part here. It is very, very tough to get it the first time. So I just use some pliers and then I use this and I turn it 
trying to get it to come loose. Now I gotta do this off camera because uh, I don't wanna knock out that, uh, that cut. This is gonna fight you. You could cut it too if you want, but it come out. Look. Now see on the other side it doesn't have anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow from one side and try to get the ink out. out if you have the need to reuse this pen for something you can put it back together and I'll probably write one or two or three words <clears throat> now here it is I have to check the video see if that was on camera or not but let's move it here and I have these little uh, sticks from Starbucks you do not want to use one of those mechanized mixers again if you decan the paint it still has a lot of gases so just use a stir uh, stick like this and just slowly slowly work it I haven't used this color yet so I'll use it in the future, see if it turns out like light red or actually turns out like pink. Or maybe it'll give me that uh, that watermelon color. We'll see in the future, in a future video. Now, you probably seeing a lot of particles in there and you're like, how do you see you gonna airbrush? And oh, by the way, you could also try to use enamel clear, but I wouldn't cheap out like that. I wouldn't. Enamel clear, it's not as glossy as this. It will work, but I do not recommend it. All right, so I got a brand new bottle here with the inner part here. And uh, now you need to strain that paint. I have a little, another cup here with acetone. You're also gonna have to get these funnels remember everything I use is going to be in the video description the good thing about this is that you can reuse as many times as you want now how do you, how are you gonna strain this paint you go out and buy those very expensive uh, paint filters the cones just cut the bottom part and you know see if I can get a better shot here yeah and just put the thing over here but that's too expensive what's the alternative what if I tell you you can use pantyhose I paid $1.99 for this Try to get them white, as uh, with white you can see. Cut a piece here. Once I cut it, I'm only gonna use half, and you're gonna see why. So I got one 
here, one another one. And I have another empty cup over here. Check it out. Now we have our own little filter to strain the paint. Now, press on it. Now you gotta go very slowly because this will get clogged up. This is looking like hot pink. It's slowly going down. I can't move up the camera any higher, so. Look. So it's working. It's cleaning up the all the little particles of the ink. If you have your stick, you could uh, move it a little. That way the paint can go through. Just take it slowly. <clears throat> you don't want to waste the paint. You're probably going to end up using uh, the other part, the other piece of uh, penny holes that I cut. So you can see the, the pantyhose is actually working very nice. It's preventing the paint from going through because it's dirty already. All right, so I'm gonna finish this and I'll be back once I go through all this. And I just put in the last little bit. Now this, I just throw it in the cup with the Acetone. My other one. Put that one away. <clears throat> Let me get a napkin. Alright, so. Using a little bit more acetone here. Cleaning up the bottle. This one looks just like hot pink. Can't wait to paint something with it. Now remember what I told you. We just decant this paint so we can't cover it up. So I gotta leave this like this for four or five hours before I could put the cap on. And we're done. So that's gonna be it for today thank you for watching expect the, to see these in the future so I need to do the details and maybe buy some water slides for them and see how they end up looking that's gonna be it thank you for watching peace out